look at me, stomach like a Volkswagen. Still, I can handle my business. Got these hoes bragging. Ice Cube, put it down. Well, what's up, boys and girls? It's your boy, Big Rhymes here, and I'm back, motherfucker. I'm back on my bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I always mess up these intros, seriously. Like, I should just stop doing intros. I should just get straight to my point. Like, what's up, boys and girls? You are now watching some gameplay, and I'm talking over it. And <laughs> that's it. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, have you guys missed me? Well, I don't really care, because I have. I've missed you so much, like, just knowing that I haven't posted anything in two weeks now, it's just, I was just torturing myself over it, like, I just felt so guilty, oh man, the things I did, <laughs> nah, I ain't on that emo shit, man, I was just joking with you, I'm playing with you, but I do love my subs, like, I want a hundred subs, man, that's something to celebrate about, man. I was gonna do, like, an open lobby, or maybe a montage, or... A dual con, and I even had Eskid come over to do a dual con with me, but he just didn't have shit to talk about. And if you don't have shit to talk about, there's no point of doing a commentary because you're just gonna be talking for no reason, like I do most of the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, if any of you want to add me, uh, add me on KGB Chronics. I will put the, the it's gonna come up on the screen right now. That's right, take note, write it down, email it to your mom, send it to your sister. Make sure you add me so we can have an open lobby. But no. I do these open lobbies. And I say that while quoting my fingers. And I don't know why I'm doing that because you can't see that. But quote unquote open lobbies. Because I do them every night. I do sniping lobbies. I do weed. Well weed. Because you know I just have a bunch of friends get together online. And I play with my subscribers. Uh, you know if you're one of those subscribers I play with you. Just drop a comment. DM. I'm gonna give you a shout out for no fucking reason because just you you just great like that you know it just came to my head but anyways uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go on a big ram show probably probably not I don't know um did you like that intro in the beginning I'm, I'll give you some time to think about it of course you fucking did I made it nah <laughs> nah you know I'm still a Sony Vegas noob. I don't know how to use that shit, like, I only saw one tutorial on YouTube and that's what I made, so. If you like the Ice Cube song, holla at me, check out his new album. Uh, I rep that, no, I rep that West, I am the West. And I'm just talking random shit. <laughs> but yeah. Again, I'm using a, the RP Dizzle on Scrapyard, just RP Dizzling people. And I think this whole match, I was just talking shit to this one Spanish dude. So... One Spanish dude, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, man. I was I was pissed off and excited at the same time, and that's what happens when I when, you know, when I'm pissed off and excited at the same time. I just talk a lot of shit to you, and I don't like that. I'm really sorry for that. I regret that shit. Too bad you can't hear my mic, cause that would be just fucking hilarious. <laughs> Could have submitted to like Chris Rock or something. It would put Chris Rock to shame the way I dissed this little kid. Well, he wasn't a little kid. He was fucking 17 and he was high. <laughs> that was. That was the best thing about it. That guy was so high. He didn't know what he was talking about. Like at one point, I pretended to be his brother, and he was like, "So he was started talking Spanish to me, some next shit." But uh, I dropped Spanish, so yeah, I don't, I didn't understand the sh uh, thing he was saying. So, um, and as you can see in here, I'm back on scrap. Well, did I already say that? I don't know. I've got short memory. When I'm doing these commentaries, it's just really awkward and strange. If someone just walked in right now on me, would just like give that look when you're called masturbating. Not that I have them, it's like, <laughs> like have you, have you seen that? Well, real moments with, with uh, Respawn, episode 8, like, where they're filming c as Hutch and Hollywood are filming c as playing Halo, and then he just turns around and gives him that look like he was called masturbating. And that, that's like one of the best looks ever. But, you can see that I was trying to wall bang the, the airplane thing, because one, uh, I got like a six man wall bang spray with that shit and those of you who were playing with me, I think most one was playing uh, Quickness Allen, man I fucking love you, where you at nigga? Man if you're watching this shit, holla at me man, come blind and say I miss you man Also Coops, where the fuck are you man? I know you, you filming all those porn films and shit but 
You need to come online sometimes. I miss you, man. We we need to make some love. <laughs> oh man. I'm, I'm I'm so gonna get flagged for this. Look, like I said, did I say this before? I'm not sure if I did mention this before. The word nigger is not like the word nigger. Like you know, when you have some white folks saying like they really mean it, they gonna be growling at you and she's like nigger, like they about to scratch your eyes out and she's like gonna pistol with you. But and this brings me on to another story. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna tell this story to my kids and after like a minute to say it, but I'm gonna cut some bits out of it. So basically, one day I was just standing outside for no fucking reason. I think I was waiting for someone to pick me up, right? And this woman, this old bitch ass granny, with a little pulley bag thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but yeah. She comes at me and she's like, Move you fucking nigger, or I will hit you with my bag. <laughs> and I'm like, bitch, please. Like, In that situation, I didn't know what to do, because... She's old and retarded, and she's probably been over menopause three times in, in her lifetime. Not that it's not that her lifetime has any more to go on. I don't know if that makes sense, but she ended up like growling at me and said "nigger." Like, I was like, "Motherfucker, please!" Like, I don't know what to do, and I said I was just laughing at her, but deep deep down inside, I just wanted to fucking. Put an RPG right in her fucking face and blow that shit apart, bro. You know what? I don't really give a fuck because she ain't got much time left. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely getting flagged for this. <laughs> Anyways, keep it real, boys and girls. Stay in school and don't do drugs. Peace.